Nutrient Management in Cashew Cashew is an important export-oriented nut crop which is traditionally cultivated in neglected and less fertile areas along the west and east coast of India. Cashew requires adequate nutrient inputs for increasing the yield of raw cashew nuts. Cashew growing soils are generally acidic in nature with a general deficiency of nutrients such as phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, boron and molybdenum. Under high acidic conditions, other elements such as iron, manganese and aluminum content may increase to adversely affect the plant performance. For correcting soil acidity, liming is to be undertaken with lime, dolomite or other liming materials. Liming is recommended 2 to 3 months before planting in new plantations while in established plantations it can be done once in 3 to 5 years. It is to be noted that liming can be done during April-May before the onset of monsoon. For manuring, 10 to 15 kg farmyard manure or compost is recommended per grown-up tree if the soil is deficient in organic matter. Farmyard manure or compost can be applied in circular trenches along with the fertilizers either with the onset of monsoon or in August-September during the receding periods of monsoon. If farmyard manure is not available, green manure crops such as Glyrosidia, Sesbania and Sunhem can be grown along boundaries and in between two rows of cashew. This can be used for green leaf manuring. The general nutrient recommendation for nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for cashew varies with states. The recommendation given here is for normal spacing. These fertilizer doses are to be adjusted based on the soil test results, age of the plant and spacing followed. For calculating the fertilizer dosage based on the field condition, a mobile app has been developed by ICR Directorate of Cashew Research. This app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store or by scanning the QR code shown here. For applying the fertilizers, in case of loamy soils and in low rainfall areas, that is along east coast and interior region, the fertilizers should be applied in 50 cm circular strips at a distance of 0.5 meter, 0.7 meter, 1 meter and 1.5 meter away from the trunk during first, second, third and fourth year after planting. In laterite soils and soils of sloppy lands in heavy rainfall areas along the west coast, the fertilizer can be applied in circular trenches of 25 cm width and 15 cm depth prepared at a distance of 0.5 meter, 0.7 meter, 1 meter and 1.5 meter away from the trunk during the first, second, third and fourth year of planting. Immediately after application, fertilizer should be raked into soil. Green leaves can be spread as mulch to enhance fertilizer use efficiency. Fertilizer application should be avoided during heavy monsoon and also when the soil moisture status is poor. Application of fertilizers can be taken up during the second week of August during receding period of monsoon. Under normal density planting, during 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th year of planting, 1 by 5th, 2 by 5th, 3 by 5th, 4 by 5th and full quantity of recommended dose is to be applied. Under high density planting and ultra density planting, during 1st, 2nd and 3rd year of planting, 1 third, 2 third and full quantity of recommended dose is to be applied. Management of Micronutrients The nutrients that are required by plant in small quantities are called as micronutrients. 
these include iron manganese zinc copper boron and molybdenum the widespread occurrence of micronutrient deficiencies in cashew growing areas is to be tackled by adequate supplemental application of micronutrient fertilizers either through soil application or foliar spray foliar application is the quickest and efficient way of correcting and supplementing micronutrients for foliar spray a grown up tree requires about 5 liter spray solution and it needs to be carried out at the start of flushing panicle initiation and fruit setting The table given here provide the recommended rates of micronutrient fertilizers for cashew for foliar application. If we go for soil applications of micronutrients, the rate of application of micronutrients varies with the micronutrient. Excess application to soil should not be done as it will adversely affect other nutrients. crop growth and yield soil application is generally recommended once in 2 years since the quantity of micronutrient is to be given per tree is very small it is better to mix it with sand while applying precautions in micronutrient soil application includes applying only once in 2 years Zinc fertilizers should not be applied along with phosphatic fertilizers and applying it only if deficiency is detected in soil testing.